Good morning, everyone. Just making some water. It's Wednesday morning. Coco has, oh, fits. Coco has a vet appointment this morning to get her staples out. <laughs> Guys, I like actually really don't feel like wearing this. This is from TNA, uh, Aritzia, but, well, I guess from Aritzia, but I don't know. Like, I'm also kind of breaking out, but then I could wear this, which I just got from Dad by Gemini. It's cozier. I think I am gonna change into that. We will see. This workout tank, by the way, is Amazon. I really like it. Uh, and then I just have on aloe biker shorts. I think after this, we're gonna take the pups to White Rock and get some coffee. Oh, this is so soft. Guys, I'm excited to like be in the car in the morning going to do something because it just like doesn't happen. I'm like still not working out places and stuff, obviously. So like I don't really leave my house in the morning to like go work anywhere. I miss like going to early morning workouts and like going to coffee shops to like meet people. I mean, I can go to La La Land because they have outside stuff, but that's the only one I really go to. <laughs> Bringing my books because I'm gonna have to wait for Coke at her appointment and I'm actually a mom, guys. But this bag fits everything. Like what more can I need? Nice, I'm also gonna have this hat in. Maybe I'll like completely change my look. Here's my keys. Oh, by the way, I did try this. This is the GABA Calming Support from, what is it, Brain MD. I got this as a recommendation from Dr. Amen. It's his supplements. And this is something that you just take when you're feeling anxious. And I took it last night because sometimes I'll get a little more anxious at night. And I felt, like, so calm. Guys, oh, no fits. Stop. Oh, my gosh, guys, I swear, anytime. Stop. After he goes to the bathroom in the morning, he just gets so hyper for, like, two seconds. Come on. Come on, boy. Fitz actually, oh thank you. Fitz actually um, made a tear in my sweater. So, okay guys, seriously. First off, both of you need baths, okay? Fitz, back, thank you. We're going to your sister's vet appointment, okay? It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Maybe she can go and walk to this soon. So, I changed into sweatpants. I'm putting my shoes back on. I'm back home right now. I think we might change our plans. I don't know what we're doing. Oh my gosh. But I wanted to show you guys this book that I got. I shared it to stories last night, but it's the anti-anxiety notebook. I posted this and Lauren replied to my story and was like, tell me why I bought the exact same thing. So it's just CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. This is how a lot of therapists deal with anxiety, but basically um, it's made by therapists. So it's really helpful. Like if therapy isn't something that's like easily accessible to you or something you don't feel comfortable with, I think this is a good way to start. So it's really nice because it says what happened, um, what is going on through your mind, what emotions are you feeling, and then note the intensity, patterns that you recognize, and how can you think of the situation differently, and then there's more. There's note from therapist. Here's an example page um, that they did, which I thought was cool, but it's just really helpful, and something about writing it out makes life so much, something about writing out your thoughts also really, really helps Regardless, I want to start using this mainly and I'm in therapy I just want to start using this mainly because I want to be able to track things I feel like I feel an emotion then I feel fine and I forget about it But I want to be able to like track certain things and whatever anyways the branding is like really really cute Oh positive re positive relationships everyone needs support so then there's like chapters in between and stuff But it's really cool. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, it's just therapy notebooks it Talks about mindfulness healthy relationships things like that how will this journal help with anxiety? When should I use it? And how does CBT fit in? So CBT is considered the gold standard of therapy for managing anxiety. Um, this is just the format that a lot of therapists use. Sleep overnight therapy. That's real. But yeah, it looks really cool. So check it out if you guys are interested. Okay, I'm making my avocado toast. This is my favorite breakfast that I make. Um, I like avocado toast way better when I make it versus when I'm out and spending like $14 on one. Also, I'm quite the hand talker right now. Either day's bread or Ezekiel bread. And then this is the, this is honestly the secret weapon. Trader Joe's glaze. Tori Sterling or DeSimone posted this on her, or shared it on a vlog like months ago and I got it. And like, all credit to Tori. It's the best thing to ever happen to my avocado toast. I put a ton on. And then obviously the everything with the bagel seasoning, my favorite. I saw Emily June posted the other day that she hates this and like, it's okay. We can disagree on one thing and still be friends, but like, I just don't understand. It's so bomb. So this is my favorite avocado toast. I threw a hat on guys. I truly look like a mom right now. 
All right, I'm back home. We just went on a drive. Q got coffee. I didn't, I'm like really not drinking coffee, guys. It's so crazy. Um, I'm on my second hydro flask. I was the third. Not getting too excited over there. By the way, I think I've already said this, but this is from Die by Gemini on Instagram. She sent this to me and it is so freaking cute. Just started burning my favorite candle scent. You know how scents just like put you in such a good mood? It's science, okay? Um, this scent really does it for me. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I need to take the sticker off because it's just, I don't think it's the cutest thing ever, but come on, this is simple. And it just puts me in the absolute best mood and it makes your entire house smell so bomb. Anyways, I'm getting new dog food. I'm getting new dog food delivered and I'm gonna go downstairs and do some laundry. I've been doing laundry for the past like 24 hours and there's still more, so. Quite the errands day, even though the errands are like virtual. Like I have to call my water, plumbing stuff, the vets, all of that, you know? Um, not the most exciting day, but I am gonna make the salad that I think is bomb. Briefly showed these to you guys a few vlogs ago, but these are the She Reads Truth studies. This one's on Daniel, which I'm really excited. Guys, like the branding is so good. Okay, like can we just talk about that? So I really wanna go through these. I did end up canceling my subscription just because I don't personally go through these every month. I like these a lot for like branding purposes as well. But I really wanna go through the Daniel one. Um, and I feel like I will go through them one day. It's just like I was using different Devos and stuff. So now I have like eight of these that I haven't gone through yet, but I really do like their subscription if that's your vibe, like it's really great. I already showed you guys my snacks with soap box, but I haven't even tried anything out yet, which I'm really excited for. So basically this is like a subscription service for healthy, oh, that's cool, for healthy snacks. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Superfood smoothie, that's cool. <gasps> Guys, I love dried mango, so I think I'll love these. Granola, RX bars, which I love. I'm really excited because um, Melissa Wood Health talks about Mary's Gone Crackers all the time. So this looks really fun. I'm gonna try these out. If you guys are looking for healthier eating, I love Four Sigmatic, guys. Oh, so bomb. Okay guys, I have the hiccups. <sighs> They're kind of painful. It's currently, oh my gosh. 12.30, just been working on the couch. It's just been like so cozy. I just love days when I'm like, I'm home for the day. It's cozy, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do, AKA work, but I'm gonna make a caprese salad. This is like what we've always made growing up. It's such an easy thing to have. I just like can't tell how big this is gonna be, but the biggest reason I love making this is because it just gets better as it sits in the fridge and it's such a good, like not full meal, but like a heavy snack, you know? I'm also honestly gonna heat up my ramen from last night. Oh, sorry, the microwave's on. I'll wait. I literally just sound like one of those teachers who, when you talk in class, you're like, I'll wait. It's gonna be way more than this. Like, I need. I was just bragging earlier about how I like don't drink that much coffee anymore, and now like my under eyes hurt and it feels like I need coffee. But coffee at this point just like makes my stomach feel weird, and I don't feel good. So I'm gonna have my third <laughs> liquid IV energy thing of the day. But honestly, if I just like am really hydrated, I feel like I rely a lot less on needing caffeine. I've got some Taylor Swift. Okay, if you guys, in all seriousness, I know a lot of you guys are probably still home because of COVID, but if you have moved away for college or just for whatever reason, or you just wanna be brought back to a happier time, when I burn certain candles, like this candle and marshmallow fireside, and like just certain candles I used to burn at a very good part of my life when I was like really cozy and at home and just in a good mood, you have like scent associations, so it just puts me in the best mood. So that will be a great homesick tip, but we've got some sugar plum tomatoes, mozzarella balls, um, cucumber, I'm going to cut this up, put it in a bowl, and then put a balsamic vinegar on, um, vinaigrette, and then let it kind of like soak a little bit. Look at how bomb this looks, guys. Like, the easiest thing ever, and it is so good. Oh my gosh. All right, 
I've been editing. I just got another video pre-uploaded for this week. I've legit been posting like every single day. But it's 3 p.m. right now. Tonight, Liz and I, we're gonna go to like Trinity Gross area. I am shooting a new podcast cover and we're using another car that isn't mine. So I have to like work it out at the dealership and I need to figure out and scout for exactly where I want to shoot. I know like in the area, but I need to find an exact location. Um, and then I think we're just gonna go to like this pedestrian bridge that's outside. Good like social distancing things. Oh my gosh. But I decided that I'm actually gonna do like a shower routine and self care, like self tan everything because I just, one, I wanna show you guys the products that I've been using and two, like I need to self tan. So might as well. By the way, this is not sponsored, but I just got my products out that I use. So I have to use detox shampoos like weekly, honestly, probably like more than weekly, I get really bad product buildup in my hair. So I love this one from the way, as you can see, I'm almost out of it. But if you guys get bad product buildup, you feel like you can't fully wash things out of your hair, um, I, you definitely need to get one of these. There's also one from Neutrogena that's like four or five dollars that I'll link down below as well, because this one's a little bit pricier, but there's also like a lot more product that comes with it. This is Function of Beauty. Um, this is not a deal, but I use them regularly anyways. I love their stuff. They have shampoo and conditioner. It's custom hair care. If you guys use functionofbeauty.com slash I love you, you get 20% off your first order. But it's amazing. I always get the eucalyptus scent and then I like white dye. You can get it to be any other color. This is their body wash and body lotion, which is fairly new. I just started using it. I really like it so far. For my razor, I use the Billy razor. I love this. They send you new heads. It's really bomb. For self tanner, this stuff is my favorite ever. It's a gradual self tanner, but it's hydrating. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't come off on white clothes, it doesn't smell bad, you can just use it as a normal everyday lotion and it gives you color, but it actually gives you enough color, like you don't have to build it up for a week after the first try, I see, after the first application, I see color and it just gives me the most natural glow, like I've used every single self tanner on the market, this is the easiest, you literally apply it with your hands guys, not even a mitt, it is just like next level, I've talked about it a ton, but it is so bomb. And then I think my holy grail hair product is this hair serum by Function of Beauty. So since this is custom, I can't link obviously this exact one, but you guys can just go on, use my link for 20% off and you get your own one that's made for you. Um, see Function of Kinsey. But it just leaves my hair so moisturized, like I cannot even describe it, but not in a way that's oily or greasy with hair serums and just oils in general. It's like a hit or miss for me. Like sometimes it works really great and then sometimes it leaves my hair just feeling gross. This one has never left it feeling gross. It's just the perfect amount and I honestly apply a lot too. Um, and like I just cannot recommend this enough. So these are the products I typically use. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, this is really it. Um, my current phase, guys. I'll link everything down below in case you're interested in checking any of it out. But it's just absolutely bomb. Especially this hair serum, guys. Like get one made by them. I cannot like I cannot express that enough. All right, guys, I'm out of the shower. I self-tanned. Um, I'm literally, it's 3.30 right now, and at 6.30, I'm gonna be wearing an all-white outfit. So that's normally like a nightmare. The Savon Ayla stuff, the Luxe Unfiltered, like literally, it doesn't transfer. I think one time it did, and I'm gonna be wearing an all-white outfit, but I need it because it's like the whole point of the outfit for the shoot. So anyways, I'm gonna head downstairs. I'm actually gonna feed the dogs. Sit, sit, good boy, pound it. Good boy, sit, no, sit. Good boy, pound it. No, sit. Oh. Oh my gosh. Good boy, pound it. <gasps> good boy, good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay, boy, let's try this. Ready? Fist, crate. Go on, boy. Crate. Crate. <gasps> good boy. This is what I'm eating right now. Honestly, like, I need to go to Best Buy and do a return because I do have something to return and then that makes me want to go get a new iPad keyboard and maybe just not get the Apple one right now, but... I just don't feel like it at all. So I just can't tell what I want to do. I could just keep doing computer work and that's probably what will happen. New podcast episode in the morning with the founder of La La Land. But anyways, I got ready. I'll show you my full outfit. I changed it a little bit because my top I was going to wear tonight is like too small. So using my favorite perfume, Liz is picking me up. We're literally going to get Sonic and go scout some locations and then whatever. I'm really liking the Tower 28 lip glosses. Like I'll show you. My skin today though, I just am not loving my makeup. It's super, super oily. I just need a new like face product that is similar to like the A Cosmetics CC cream, but I want to try something else. This is the look. I blew my hair out with the Dyson Airwrap and I'm going to bring this stuff downstairs. 
because I'm just like craving really bad food. Like I need to like go to Sonic is what I what I need to do. I'll show you my full outfit now. So these white pants are from Revolve. They're so cool. I steamed them, so they're kind of wet right now, but I love them. I'm just wearing a big oversized like white comfort colors tee that I tucked in and kind of messed with. My favorite was a guided jacket that's probably still on sale for $40. Guys, buy this jacket. I will link it below. It is next level and then white docks. Anyways, I'm gonna go downstairs, make sure everything's ready, and then I need to do a little bit more. I've been working on my computer all day, and I feel like when you work on your computer all day, like you never finish because there's always more you can do, especially because I'm an online student. I never talk about that on vlogs anymore, but I'm still in school. I, this is my last semester. So I'm just like, so checked out. I spend so much time working on classes too, and like I'm so close to being done, but I'm just like, please. Liz is picking me up in 25 minutes, but in the background, I've been watching the real story of Paris Hilton. It is so good. It's on YouTube. Guys, here I am back at TikTok. I'm back at TikTok. I'm back at Sonic. Oh wait, we didn't. I didn't ask for Sonic for slime soon. Shoot. When she comes back, when we'll, the, we'll, we'll back Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a TikTok because everyone was so mad. In my last TikTok that I didn't get the slime spoon and like I don't understand. I think it's like a bunch of 10 year olds. Wait, what the heck? I think that TikTok just has to be a bunch of 10 year olds because who, why would any other normal group of people be so angry that I didn't get the slime spoon? They have to get like 10 years old. Like commenting No, there was like hundreds of comments because that one did really well. So I was just like, there's so many comments. Okay. It's so sh Wait. We have to- Wait, look, 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 look. Oh, there we go. Slime chamber. Update guys, we're not getting a slime spoon, unfortunately, but I just want to say, the grilled chicken sandwich from Sonic is so bomb. I've gotten this like my whole life. And it's like, this isn't what you would think that you would get at Sonic, especially because I also got a Sonic Blast with Reese's Pieces, but it's really good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're walking to the pedestrian bridge. Still don't know exactly, you know, I don't know. It is actually so pretty right now, though. We're just trying to get some pics, but also trying to figure out where I can even shoot, because I'm going to be in a car, which is the hard part. So, yeah, we're hard. I mean, honestly, it's, it's, well, maybe if we angle it, like, the other then you can't see the, that's close. I know, and of course it's close, but then I'm thinking like, is it not going to be high enough? I don't know. Guys, Liz is like losing her mind right now. First off, her confidence in driving tonight is unreal. It's like next level, right? Okay, so she has two miles left and I first was like we'll be fine to like get over there because we didn't want to miss the sunset but I was like assuming that we would like you know get gas over here and she <laughs> we're driving back she's like, oh my gosh we have two miles and I'm like let's go to a gas station and she looks at me like I'm the idiot as if like why would I suggest that and so then we were talking about in high school how people used to drive on E for like three days and she said she's one of those and I was like clearly none of you guys have anxiety disorder because like I could never do that I see that's when I didn't have anxiety and now I do yeah you know oh. now I'm, that makes sense right yeah, well, oh no, this is the best part. She goes, <laughs> this is the best part. She goes, I mean, I would ride it out for, or drive it out for at least a week. <laughs> like as if you can just drive on E for a week, but I guess you can when you go like a mile away in high school. I, see, yeah, it wasn't that bad because I was literally just driving. You're so close. not even a mile, like every day. <laughs> like, like 0.2 miles, maybe. It really is such a thing though. Like I remember everyone's like Snapchat stories back in high school being like, oh my gosh, on E day three, let's see how long this lasts. <laughs> For real, like why? Also, you want to know something stupid, which I think I've told you before. And this is gonna be really, really stupid. So like in high school, I was convinced that every time I filled up a tank of gas, I had to fill up the entire oh, tank. Oh yeah, you did tell me this. Like I didn't think that I could just fill up like, like $5 yeah. or something. No, I had to be like a full like, so in high school, when you like don't have money, you're like, I can't fill up my tank. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was writing it out. So yeah, long. that would make sense. But here's the well, here's thing: a full tank for I had like a GLK before my Jeep, and yeah. so it was like forty dollars a tank. And then I got my Jeep, and then it was like twenty five. Like it was nothing, absolutely nothing, literally nothing. My okay, so it used to cost like fifth, honestly, like fifty to seventy dollars every time I filled up my tank in LA. 
here it costs like 30 like 25 it's yeah. literally next level i don't even remember it being that cheap in high school i felt like when i remember it being 40 dollars in texas when i moved to la being like it's the same thing everyone lied to me and now i'm like wait what was i doing then wait, because there's no way that the gas prices were the same i don't know why i just really strongly think that but yeah anyways texas forever guys Dude. but um just leave your comments down below of your um, running out of gas story. We all have them. I actually oh, don't think I've ever this. I mean, this might be our story I right here. Zero miles. I just zero You're, miles. Okay, you used to. We're first off. We are a mile from the gas station, and you used to do this all the time, apparently. Yeah, but like <laughs> now she's anxiety out. now. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So we'll be fine. It's I told like, you. It's really close. That's the difference. I didn't have anxiety. No, I literally I have, like, I'm driving, and I'm, like, so afraid. And I'm, like, God, please, God, please don't let me run out of gas. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> also, like, I hate. Where's the gas station? Oh, talk girl, I love you. I hate filling up my tank. Like, I. Also, here's the thing. Is this, this is even a gas station, the 7 Eleven. Ugh, I hate when that happens. It's just like. Alright, guys, I'm actually going to end today's vlog here. I feel like I've been vlogging a ton and I just need to wash my face. Like, I feel so gross wearing makeup. Am I out of breath from walking upstairs? Yes, I am. Anyways, I'm filming an anxiety, anti anxiety morning routine, which I actually have to start tonight. You guys will see. I'm very excited. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Guys, I'm like legit out of breath. It's like hard for me to even end this, but I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.